1994, President Clinton signed a 10-year assault weapons ban into law. This is not about gun control, it's about crime control. By the time it expired, mass shootings were down by a whopping 70%, but the overall gun homicide rate decreased by only 0.1%. The truth is, mass shootings make up only a tiny fraction of gun homicides, which in turn accounted for a staggering 79% of total homicides as recently as 2020. The question is, who is doing all the killing? This is the part politicians and the media would rather ignore. According to the CDC, black males were most responsible for firearm-related homicides in 2019, while Asians and Pacific Islanders were the least likely racial group to commit murder with a firearm, making them especially vulnerable targets for violent crime. And this dynamic is nowhere near as apparent as in the San Francisco Bay Area. The last few years, this region, like other urban areas in the country, witnessed a spike in anti-Asian violence, just another sad symptom of the soft-on-crime policies enacted by left-wing mayors and DAs. And while they're soft on crime, they're hard on guns, painting the familiar picture we saw earlier in Baltimore, where police are overworked and disempowered and citizens unable to protect themselves. The Second Amendment, the gun is for people to protect themselves, protect their family, and protect their country if we face a tyranny government. Ellen Lee Zhao immigrated to America 30 years ago. I'm from China. In China, you're not allowed to own a gun, but I came to America for freedom, so owning a gun is part of the freedom to protect my country. So this is my country. I protect my country. She's been tirelessly working to promote America's founding values in a city shaken by progressive politics and social decay. Oh, there, there. Oh, right there. Oh, right there. In Oakland, it's gotten so bad that volunteers are forming neighborhood watch groups to stem the wave of violence engulfing the local Asian community. So he says, uh, uh, when we experience crime, number one, we take pictures. We record the scene. So when the police come right away, then they can show the picture, show the video, and tell them what, what they see. If they get into a confrontation, if a criminal comes into the area, are they worried about not being able to have self-defense? Mm. So he says if we experience uh, criminal activities or crimes that are against physically, against people physically, and then we will intervene physically. By law, people, uh, anyone can own a gun if they're inside their store or inside their home, but if you carry a gun outside, no, you, you're not allowed. You have to have a permit, a concealed permit. So they, uh, they usually call the police right away. But is relying on police enough to stop crime? As we know from everything we've covered so far in this film, it is unlikely. 